So for example, if I go into my ChatGPT account here, I've already run my first one on O3 mini high because it has the highest level of reasoning and advancement. But just so you know, this is available on all of the plans you see right here with 4.0 and 01 and 03 mini, 03 mini high. All of these options essentially give you this deep research version. Hi, my name is Dimitri Panici, and I'm a content creator, agency owner, and AI enthusiast. You're listening to the AI Agents Podcast, brought to you by Jotform, and featuring our very own CEO and founder, Ida Kintank. This is the show where artificial intelligence meets innovation, productivity, and the tools shaping the future of work. Enjoy the show. Now, this has to be one of the single greatest improvements that has ever existed in the history of ChatGPT. This has been said to be the favorite release by Sam Altman in the history of ChatGPT, and we're gonna dive into why deep research is a game changer for those of you that are on the paid plans. So the pro plan actually has had this for a little while since February 2nd, but it just rolled out to my team plan and the plus plans. Essentially what this does is it's an agent that uses reasoning to synthesize large amounts of information and complete multi-step research tasks for you. This is something that can take anywhere from a couple minutes to 20, 30 minutes mattering on what you're asking it for. As you can see, it goes deep in there and really does look through sources to try to figure out what you have versus what it could be. In my opinion, this is a huge improvement just because of the fact that we have the ability to really dive into information now in a more human-like manner than what was previously. And there are a lot of really cool use cases for research and for improvements on different things you're doing. So for example, if I go into my ChatGPT account here, I've already run my first one on O3 mini high because it has the highest level of reasoning and advancement. But just so you know, this is available on all of the plans you see right here with 4.0 and 01 and 03 mini, 03 mini high. All of these options essentially give you this deep research version. And as you can see, it researched for five minutes and 40 seconds. When I asked, how can this sales deck be improved? I just worked on a sales deck to make my agency a little bit better on sales calls because I, I usually sell off the cuff. But having a deck, I do believe, will help a little bit. However, I just want to make sure that I'm doing my best to have a stronger focus on pain points and have a more conversion-driven, clear CTA strategy in here. And what you can see here when I click on researched for five minutes and 30 seconds is a couple of different things. You have activity where it shows you the entirety of what it did. And if I scroll through this, it does look up a couple different things like SaaS content, and it looks into the deck that I made and gives you all of the step-by-step -step of what it did. And then you'll see that the sources include the file that I added and some other things that it found. And as you can see, it essentially gave a deeper and more improved version of what we've already created via changing the text to align more with a stronger CTA and more in-depth focus on pain points and solutions. Now, this may not be something I use, but it is always good to see some of the different ideas that, that can come from this O3 Mini with deep research. Now, it doesn't have to be O3 Mini, as I said. I can try it with 4.0 and it'll be a little bit shorter. So let me show you a more basic example of this. For example, in this content agency that I run, I'm the main product knowledge person. I get apps very intuitively because I've created a lot of different products tutorials. So I'm going to ask with deep research right here, a task. Hey there, so I am somebody who has made a business out of my interest in productivity apps and AI agent and AI related applications, also in the no code space. So essentially with this interest, I run a SaaS agency that helps me get more done in my life and get other people to have more done in their life through content I make on my own YouTube channel. And then I also have an agency specifically designed for helping clients make good marketing content, podcasts, videos, social media posts, and the like. Right now, I'm the one doing all the recording. I'm the one doing all of the A-roll, the screen recording, and essentially the scripting for the videos. And I need help on the scripting and screen recording side so I can decentralize this and essentially have somebody else fill in the A-roll role while a team of writers that also screen record can give that support on the research and screen recording side so that for my business, I can essentially get it away from it just being me. 
Can you build out an eight week training plan to train people on my team on how to more effectively learn SaaS content and learn the principles of the user interfaces and user experiences that make SaaS actually pretty easy to understand because software is pretty universal if you've done enough tutorials. Focusing mainly on no code tools, not really much coding is needed. Tools like Notion, Airtable, and app builders like Softer, NoLoco, and then going into even more basic productivity apps like Todoist and other to-do list apps and basic use case apps. Please make an eight week plan for this. So this is a pretty important request. And if they manage to do this, I do think a deep research, whether it's with 4.0 or I think O3 Mini might be a better example of this. I don't want to go too little on it because it is kind of an important thing. Or I can go high and just like come back to you in a couple of minutes. Let's do O3 Mini and see how it does. What it always does is it seems to ask me to clarify. Are the trainees starting from scratch or do they have some familiarity? Okay, so great questions. One, the trainees will be starting from scratch. Two, uh, it will be live sessions that would give them projects quizzes, etc. Should the training be high level for quick onboarding or should it, uh, go deep into high level workflows? Four, preferred learning method. Do you have any existing resources? Not really, none. And then five, since you've mentioned A-roll presenters and screen recorders, should this mm, only focus on research slash screen recording teams? And then six, by the end of eight weeks, should trainees be able to individually create SaaS content or just not? Okay. They should be able to individually create SaaS screen recordings and understand the principles of SaaS. So it is a deep task. And what it's going to do is do deep research. So it's going to start the research and really dive into it. And in the meantime, as it's running that, I can give you some example use cases outside of this that I think could be some great ideas. But before we do that, I really want to thank each and every one of you for listening to this podcast. Idekin and I have really enjoyed all the feedback. We've been growing month over month. It's been awesome. So if you do like this podcast, make sure to leave a like on YouTube and make sure to follow us on Spotify as well as Apple Podcasts and leave a review there. It really does help as we are growing this podcast and we'll bring on more and more guests with the larger audience we have so that we can show them the value that video content about their AI agents brings to each and every one of you. So thanks again for watching. But as you can see, it is taking some time. It's doing some deep thinking. And in the user interface, it shows that here, and it also shows it in this circle right here. Some other really cool use cases would be to analyze different workflows at your company. So for example, I'm a big workflow guy, and I think a lot of workflows I have in my company are good, but they might not be. So if you think that you can improve your workflows, well, make sure to ask the deep research to do some research on the industry you're in, like video editing or writing, and see different ways that it can help you out in that regard. You could also give it transcripts to your sales calls to see whether you can improve your ability to sell clients better. That's something that I'm always trying to work on. And if you're in sales, you can always do that as well. You could also give it a large knowledge base of information and try to make it as short and sweet as possible so that your team can better utilize it and so that RAG will work better when you're working with different AI agents and knowledge bases connected to those AI agents. As you can see, if I go to details right now, it is doing some searches for all of this stuff, like it's going into multiple different places and looking up guides and really researching this. You can see all of the different sources here, which is so much more research than it ever does just on the basic level here. Also, feel free to leave a comment down below letting me know if there is anything specifically that you're liking about the podcast that you're not liking about it. I know we split it up into a longer version with guests and with concepts that me and Ida can go through together. But if you like these shorter ones, we can definitely make more of these. So please let us know. We're up to 30 sources at this point now. Wow, this is really looking into it. Okay, here we go. Still working on it, but it's st it just finished, I think. Okay, so it made an eight week plan here. And overall, that took about like seven, eight minutes. So not too bad. This eight week training program is designed to help everyone and it breaks down a uh, eight week program. So first introductions to SAS, no code and screen recording basics, gives assignments, gives quizzes, gives resources. Weeks two, week two is notion fundamentals and workflow planning. It's got topics, objectives, activities that are in the lesson, hands-on project, a quiz and assessment with questions and different resources that are good for that. Week three, okay, wow, this really did produce a whole thing. That's pretty incredible. 
Now there is a little bit of bugs that do happen. As you can see here, it seems like it's done, but it still says crafting flow for no reason. However, the information here is not bad. I'm gonna have to take a deeper dive and look at it, but it even makes a capstone final project. Like this is a real course, like a college course. Very interesting. Okay, so if you are somebody who's using this, I am curious, what would you use it for? Would it be for this specific type of thing, like making courses? Would it be for improving yourself? I know a lot of people are using it for get me a large list of things, like give me a large list of different ways I can improve my public speaking. Like if you ask for a list of 100, since it has this huge context window and it will write paragraph, 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 you can ask for a hundred things and it'll give you a really deep breakdown into those hundred things. What I really can't wait for is when ChatGPT does have more of a visual component to it so it can give us visuals to go along with the text at times. Like I can't tell you, blogs won't even be man-made anymore once they figure that out. But overall, this is pretty solid stuff. It was a broad subject, but I think it did do a good job of giving multiple projects consistently inside of here. I think the issue probably that I did was I gave it specific tools. So then it focused on the specific tools. But then again, those are all different categories. So they probably would learn these things pretty well. Very cool. All right. So with that being said, thank you so much for listening to slash watching this episode of the AI Agents podcast. Make sure to do all the things I said earlier and check out the next episode that'll be linked somewhere over on the top right on YouTube when it's in the future. Are you in the future? Are you in the now? Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.